In this video, we wanna examine the difference between the New Living Translation and the King James Version of the Bible. One of the biggest differences that you're going to see is that the King James Version translators decided to translate the Bible into English in a word-for-word -word way, whereas the New Living Translation decided to translate the Bible into English in a thought-for-thought -thought way. So what is the difference between those two methods? A word-for-word -word method takes everything from the original languages and as closely as they can, translates those into the corresponding English words. Whereas the New Living Translation, which uses a thought-for-thought -thought method, they will take the meaning, the overall meaning of what the author wrote and translate that thought or that meaning into English. A great example of this is found in Luke 23 and verse 48 as people are leaving the crucifixion after Jesus dies. And the Bible says in the King James Version that they smote their breasts and returned. We may not know what that means in the modern day culture. We don't see a lot of people leaving a place smiting their breasts. But the New Living Translation gives us a little bit more cultural insight when it says that they returned home in deep sorrow. In that day, beating your breast was a sign that you were grieved or in deep sorrow. We may not know or understand that because we don't live in that culture, but the New Living Translation, when translating a thought-for-thought -thought way, gives us some insight immediately into what the original readers would have understood when they read the Gospel of Luke. Some people might think, isn't that dangerous? Because now the translators aren't telling us exactly what the Bible said originally. Well, it's actually not dangerous because many of these times where these changes are happening, you'll see an asterisk in the text and down in the footnotes, something like the New Living Translation will say, the original Greek says they smote their breasts and returned home. So they include the original words for you to see, but in the body of text, they're trying to help you readily understand what the author meant when he was writing. For example, imagine if somebody asked how I was doing and I told my friend, tell them I'm all good. And my friend goes to that person and says, he wants you to know everything's fine in his life. Well, that's not the actual words that I used, but he was able to convey my thought by using different words. That's the main difference between a word for word and a thought for thought translation process. Another huge difference that you may notice between the King James Version of the Bible and the New Living Translation is the archaic language that you read when you go into the King James Version. It's very much Shakespearean in nature, uh, and we don't talk like that anymore. So newer and more modern translations of the Bible, like the New Living Translation, are going to present the Bible in modern day English. So you might be asking, which one's better? Which one of these should I use? Well, let's look at some pros and cons for the New Living Translation and the King James Version. Let's begin with the New Living Translation. What are some of the pros? First, it has older and more superior manuscripts than the King James Version of the Bible. Number two, it's written in modern day language, making it easy to understand. Number three, because it's a thought for thought translation of the Bible, you gain immediate understanding of the author's original intention. Number four, it's written at a fifth grade reading level, which makes it perfect for new believers, teenagers, and even children. What are some cons of the New Living Translation? Number one, I would say a thought for thought translation of the Bible may not be the very best type of Bible to use when you're doing deep Bible study. I believe that you do need a word for word style Bible translation when you're doing deep study of the Bible. The reason for this is because we don't just believe the thoughts of the Bible are inspired. We believe every word that God gave us is inspired. God said what he meant and he meant what he said. So what are some of the pros of the King James version of the Bible? Well, number one, it's poetic nature might make it easier when you're doing verse memorization. Number two, as I recommended before, the King James Version is a word for word translation of the Bible. Number three, God used it and it stood the test of time for over 400 years around the world bringing many people to Jesus Christ. But wait, if you wanna know five reasons that I never recommend the King James Version of the Bible to anyone, click this video right here.